exercise, hold on to a dumbbell in each hand. Start with your feet parallel, hip width apart, soften your knees, squeeze your glutes, engage your core, and draw your shoulders down and back to open your chest. From this position, we'll first go into a V raise. So bend your elbows softly and bring your hands just slightly forward of you. From here, we'll inhale, and then as we exhale, raise your arms out to a V, up to about shoulder height. And then from here, when you lower down, we'll immediately go into a controlled bicep curl. Arms will not fully extend. Now we've got a soft bend in our elbows. Raise it out, V raise into that bicep curl. Here's the breathing, inhale, exhale, raise, inhale, lower, exhale, curl. We wanna make sure a couple things, that we do not have momentum being created through movement in the rest of our body, so everything else is stable as we are lifting. We're not rocking, we're not arching our back, right? We're keeping our shoulders down so that we're not lifting through our neck. We also wanna make sure that our elbows on the biceps curl stay close to our body, so when you come down, you right here, elbows stay close to the body, bicep curl, lower down, and continue. Because this is a combo move, you will need to pick a weight appropriate for your weakest link in the movement. What do I mean by that? Well, for me, I could probably go heavier with just a bicep curl if I was doing that by itself, but because we're doing the biceps curl and the V raise, which is bringing our arm further away, the weight further away from us, I'm gonna to have to go a bit lighter. So pick the weight that allows you to perform both movements in proper form, rather than picking too heavy, which is appropriate maybe for one of the exercises, but leaves you not in good form for the other exercise. 